The Gunslinger is an extremely productive fly. Changing the colors of the materials is an easy way to imitate a wide variety of mayfly species. A list of the materials you will need can be found in the description below. Begin the thread behind the bead and lay a thread base down until you've gone a little past the hook barb. Take four or five pheasant tail fibers and measure a tail that is about half the length of the body. Lay these fibers down at the measured point and switch them to your other hand. Tie in the fibers and take spiraling wraps up the hook. Tie in some copper wire where the pheasant fibers ended and use the same technique to tie it in. Leave the thread down by the tail. Tie in a few pheasant tail fibers again and repeat the same technique, leaving the thread where the thorax will be. Wrap the pheasant tail fibers about two thirds of the way up the hook. Cut off the excess and take a few wraps to secure the fibers. If you have a rotary vise, put in a couple of half hitches. If you don't, you can skip this step. Lay evenly spaced wraps with your copper wire, going the opposite direction as your pheasant tail fibers. Tie off your wire and either cut or helicopter it off. Cut a strip of thin skin, trying to keep it as even as possible. I usually try to cut it about the same width as the bead. Tie in that strip of thin skin facing a little towards you. As you wrap, the thread torque will move it onto the top of the hook. When you're done, you want that thin skin placed directly on top. Cut two small pieces of crystal flash and lay them on either side of your fly. Then move them to your other hand. Take just two thread wraps and let your bobbin hang. Now use both hands to ensure that the legs are positioned on the sides. Once you are satisfied with the position of the legs, take several more thread wraps to secure them in place. Create a dubbing noodle with tan rabbit dubbing. Now take that dubbing noodle to place the legs where you want, and to create a thorax which has a larger diameter than the pheasant tail portion of your fly. Once your thorax looks good and your legs are in the proper position, pull the thin skin over and create a wing case. Take a few thread wraps and then cut the thin skin. It's okay if there's a little bit of the thin skin sticking out over the bead. This will help make the fly a little more durable as it will prevent the thin skin from being pulled out and have your wing case flip open while being fished. Push all of the legs up with your other hand and trim them all the same length. This is the best method that I have found for keeping them a consistent length. Now move the legs back down and look at how they turned out. If any of them are uneven in length, go ahead and trim them now. But it's very easy at this step to trim them too short, so be careful if you have to make any adjustments. Whip finish behind the bead and cut your thread. When you are done, this is what your fly should look like. This is a great pattern to fish year round, and I find it especially good in very quick water. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and tight lines.